Hi, I'm G. And I'm Michelle. And we are the, the Bin Pickers. Pickers. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. Oh, good, good, good. Sold Sunday. It's Sold Sunday. And we sold some stuff. I know, so right? eBay's still working a little bit. A little bit. One day we sold like... I don't. We sold so many boots. It was like we sold boots, and we sold more boots, and we sold more boots. So you'll see that. Yeah. That must have been Friday afternoon or something like that, or maybe it was Saturday. I don't remember. But right so now, many boots. we're like so lost because I listed the boots, I listed the jackets. I'm like, what do we list now? We haven't been going to the bin as much, which we'll probably go this week sometime and do a haul. But we haven't been going much because we have so much stuff, <clears throat> and then it's like. What do we list? I'm like, what do we list? And you know what he gave me? She didn't have any ideas, so I'm like, <coughs> swimsuit to this. So swimsuit. So, so that's, that's what, what we're listing. On. I'm just like lost. I want to list boots because we sold a bunch of boots, but we don't have any of those. So what can you do? So yeah. swimsuits it is. So we actually sold one that I listed. Yeah. So hey, that's not too bad. That's very nice. But first, I want to say thank you to Brianna. She actually sent us this book. Yes. Your phone. Excuse me. <coughs> yes. yes, she sent us this book, and it's great. Do you know your wife? Right, she sent me a little of card. Of course, I know, I know my wife. So it's a whole book of all these questions about, do you know your wife? Okay, ask me a couple questions, because I, I know you. Okay, I guess so. How old was she on her first date? On her first date with me? No, on my first date. Oh, that is a tough question. I guess I was with you. I I never dated until I met you, babe. Really? <laughs> okay, so let's see. You were 23 then. There you go. <laughs> see? Yeah, see? No, I was 16. Oh. When she comes home to an empty house, does she immediately turn on a radio or television? Uh, computer. Computer. I never, ever come home to an empty house, so let's yeah. see. Has she ever bought a lottery ticket? Uh, yes. Yes, she has. <laughs> At a picnic, would she rather drink beer, white wine, red wine, iced tea, or soft drink? Ooh, that's almost a trick question. <laughs> so It's a picnic. It's during the day. <laughs> beer. No, come on. At a picnic, I would have Diet Coke. You would? Yes. Okay, I'm going to have a picnic now and see if you drink Diet Coke or beer. <laughs> Okay. Here. What's her favorite clothing or department store? Um, My favorite. She loves Walmart. I do? This is so funny. Um, does she ever read cookbooks just for fun? Uh, never. <laughs> Who would do that? Okay, let's pick another one. Um, let's see. Without looking, tell how she parts her hair. She parts her hair? Like this. <laughs> Good. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed. Let's go. Well, there. how many questions is in here? There's 100 questions. Okay. What's her favorite movie of the past five years? Ooh, the past five years? Hmm. You don't even know that. Do you? The last five years? What's my favorite movie? From the last five years? I know yeah. what your favorite movie is, is Sleeping Beauty. Okay, well, what but about the last five, five years? five years. Um... I'm sure it's an Adam Sandler movie. No, no, it's not an Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> oh, come on. I watched it 500 times a day after oh, I had Danny. Oh, of course. Moana. Moana. <laughs> come on. So that's fun. So we're going to actually do all, all those questions. That hasn't been five years yet? No, it hasn't. It's after I had Danny. He's only two. Okay. Okay, so that was fun. So we're going to have fun doing that. Now I need to get the husband one. She okay. said she picked up that both out of us. So yeah. I thought that was cute. So it'll be fun to actually do them all. So anyway, sorry. I didn't mean to get sidetracked there. Okay. Oh, yeah. One other thing I wanted to tell everyone is thank you. Anybody that signed up with my Fetch Rewards. Fetch Rewards, yeah. Code. Yes, I thank have, you to everyone. We oh, got over $100. Right, so I had like 100,000 points, which is $100, basically. So I can get Amazon gift cards. Yes. Um, there are so many different things. Ulta. So I think what I'm going to do is, like I said, I was going to get the kids their Christmas presents with that. Yeah. So I might just give them like some gift cards put in their stockings or something that'll yeah. be fun so i wanted to say thank you anybody that signed up for that yes thank you i feel like we're like always talking about that it's just so fun <laughs> so anyway it is fun and we got a hundred bucks just people signing up and you scan receipts i mean 
Right, and there's other apps too. Like, Every time I we go to, to the store, or whatever, Rose gets and does a receipt. I know, right? It's and, so cute. Okay, now we'll actually get into what we sold on eBay. Yeah. So sold, Rose put out her haul video too. Oh, she too. did. It was and, cute. And she like tried it on and it comes up next. To, I mean, you can really tell how, I, like, how good Isaac edits it looks. her videos with little in things. I need some editing on my video with some little yeah. inserts of stuff. We should do that. When what's sold, we should put... Yeah. Yeah. Like Jack and Ryan, they always have theirs like in between they do. them. They do like that. Yeah, they have like the thing up there so you can see theirs. Yeah. It, it's really cool to see it because when you would just hold something up, it just... You know, it looks it's super just cute. Whatever, I know. But when it's on... When Rose some, tried it on, yeah. You know, I mean, so that was really cool. I thought she did a great job. She did. You could tell... She gets, she gets pretty nervous. She gets pretty nervous. And you don't realize... How at least for some people nervous they get. Yeah, she's a doing she's videos, kind of an anxious you know I mean? person anyway. Yeah, like with um with driving or when she's right. you know, um so she gets kind of nervous, but she's so cute. Yeah. And she picked out some good stuff at the bin. We had fun going with her. Yeah, and she picked out stuff. She's like, "Do you think this is good?" You I'm sure ask. she's gonna want to go again. So yeah. <laughs> know, check right? out her video. It's pretty good. It is super cute. Okay. Okay. Sorry. You want to get into what we sold? Maybe, this is what we yeah, sold from Friday afternoon. Minutes later. To Sunday at like noon because I think to it's like noon. Sunday at like noon, right? Because yes. the time changed today. So. Oh, that's right. I'm really messed up. What time it is? I so, guess yeah. you are. So uh, this is what we sold from Friday to Sunday, plus shipping. I believe on everything is plus shipping. So yes, I believe you're right. And it's what we sold on eBay. So the first I think thing you we'll have talk one about Poshmark. one Poshmark. We'll talk about this. So that thread up rescue does. Uh, D I Y, did I say it right? I think so. Designer box, you know. So I got seven items. Um, it was seventy dollars. And this is one. And then they gave me thirty six dollars back. So I actually paid four eighty, four eighty five for each item. Is that right? So I wrote that down. As that was a cost for us. So four. So these were four eighty five because they yeah. were in that box. And we sold a ninety nine dollar item, and we sold a thirty dollar item. I think something like that. Yes. Yeah, for a coach bag. So I mean, and I don't think we even listed that. Well, well the, two, the one thing I can't was list. fake. The other thing was smelly. Ugh, smelly. The watch. Oh, and I and I I bought a battery, put it in the watch. It was Michael so Kors maybe. watch, so I got that working. I said I'm taking Michael a picture. Michael Kors. 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 Not what Kors. You sound like you said Kors, like beer. I'm thirsty. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tory Burke shoes, twenty bucks. You know, these were like, um, yeah, they they're definitely need some polish and stuff, but they're yeah. super cute. Okay. so 20 much, bucks. 20 bucks. Okay, now we'll just get into it. We'll just stop being... <coughs> <coughs> we're going to get into it right now. Estrefa? I'm not sure if that's how you say it. We've had this for like ever, right? It's a wool vest and it has like that... Um, we definitely had it last year, so we yeah, had it so for a Yeah, so $10 on that. I think we actually had quite a few of them, and we sold the other ones, and that one just couldn't sell for some I think because it was gray, maybe. It wasn't like red or like a pop of color, you know. Yeah, sure. Lucilla, eight bucks. This is a Christmas thing. He just gave it to me. I looked it up. It didn't look that great. Somebody offered eight bucks. Perfect. I don't want to have it after Christmas, so. It's super light, too, so. Yeah. Uh, Redskins, Reebok, Washington Redskins, Taylor, Taylor. Stitch, Jersey, $35. Um... Oh. Track and Field, Nike, Albuquerque. So we so. picked up a whole ton of these. And we sold two. So, I mean, this one we sold for 14 I think the other one we sold for like 15 So, I mean, yeah. if we just keep selling them, then... It's a slow... Mover. Mover, but we're selling a few, so... Patagonia okay. Better Sweater. Wait, how'd you say it? Did I say it right? Patagonia. 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 Just don't stress anything. <laughs> I don't know. Forty-five dollars on that okay. better sweater. As long as you spell it right when you put it on, that's the most important <laughs> thing. Not saying it right, right? I think I know, it's but I don't. Pat. Pat. No, that's wrong. It's like I Pat. know. Somebody said Patagonia, like like a D instead of a T. Whew. Girlfriend collective leggings, twenty-six bucks. You just got those. Just got them. You got it with all that Lululemon stuff, and you sold most of that too. Yeah. He laughed at me for getting this. It's vintage, like, 90s, a spree, like, wool, um, 
jacket okay. shirt. Thing. We've had this for like a year or two. So oh, it's he not just like it was a wait a minute, you just took a picture of it. I just put it on like two days ago. Right, you just put oh, I'm saying, but we had it for a really long time. <laughs> See? Twenty bucks. I mean, but you did laugh at me when I got it. You're like, why are you getting this? I'm like it's vintage spree. Hello. Okay. I wouldn't pick up everything vintage spree, obviously. But it's men's, right? Yeah. It's like a men's wool like surfer jacket shirt thing. Soft surroundings pants, 12 bucks. They're really wrinkled. They are wrinkled. We need to spray them and let them hang up for a while. So, <coughs> when I got this Pendleton sweater, I thought it was really good because I looked on eBay, I looked on Google. I could not find it in this color. And then, there is some well, in this somebody color. somebody had I don't said, know how oh, one just sold. It's because I just didn't look up Pendleton high-grade western wear sweater. I was using other keywords, too, like... Indian or the Harding or whatever. I was using too many keywords to look right. it up. Um, and then when you simplify it down to just not that many keywords, then you find it. Yeah. So <laughs> So it, then it wasn't It wasn't as fantastic. good as I thought, but we still sold it for fifty five bucks. Sold for fifty five bucks. So yeah. And well it, I thought it was a super rare color because we couldn't find it anywhere, but then someone sent us and then we found the 50 link of them. and then it's like, oh, there was a whole bunch of them. Some, so. But this one, it ended up having a few little But holes. still, those Pendleton sweaters like that are, are pretty good anyways. Yep. Lamb, Gwen Stefani, little shrug thing, 15 bucks. We got that in Florida when we went in January. Well, you did? Yes. So we've had that almost a year, too. But we didn't put it on, like, right away because it but had a little spot. We actually did sell some stuff that's been on for, like, a year. Uh, or more. We've had these for a really I think since last year. Yeah. Lauren, Ralph Lauren boots. Sometimes you just got to wait long enough, right? 23 bucks. I think the thing, if you have like the storage space and you can do that, like we do, so it's like... Like I don't want to do that, but sometimes you get stuff and it doesn't sell for a really long time. What can you do? What can you do? We've already listed it. Might as well keep going. Right. This North Face, Susan got this. Thank you, Susan. Um, just a North Face Osito fleece jacket, 1750. Susan, thank you. Yes, thank you so, so much. So this I, we had on last year at Christmas, I know. I, I, I took it before I Christmas. actually think we got this like along our way out to Indiana from California. Oh, so that was two years ago. I think. I'm not 100%. I don't keep track of everything I got every So time, it's Pottery Barn like Christmas lights. Yeah, and I know we did have them on last year. So we might have, I don't know. I, maybe we didn't get them along the way. Maybe we We've just, had them for a long time. Very long time. Somebody offered... Well, no, somebody bought them. They were on sale for thirteen fifty nine, so oh, we sold them. Okay. But the thing with that, the shipping. Right, because it's over a pound. I got to put it in another box, like wrap it up, put it in another box. You know what I mean? And yeah, so the sure. shipping is high. That's the thing with <laughs> stuff like this. I know. You know? The shipping. I was shipping. So it's kind of nice to get rid of some of this older stuff that we've had a while. We've had this for a while, not too long. But not I didn't realize long. when I got it, it had holes in it. Um, it's really heavy, right? Yeah. I, w I wouldn't get it again. It's that Butte knit. It feels so nice, right? And it has like, it had a little it's spot. Old, right? I know it's old, and it ended up having a few little holes. Ten fifty. I somebody offered ten fifty, and I took it just because it's heavy. And bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Here's the one swimsuit. Bye sold. bye. Do you remember that Saturday Night Live? Okay, vintage swimsuit. Yes, this is. It have, zips on both sides. Look at that. And there's no tag thing. inside. Um, it has a few little loose threads back here. Um, I said there's no size tag. There's no brand tag. There's no nothing in it. I still sold it for thirty bucks. There you go. Saturday Surf NYC. It's like surfer skater brand or something. I don't know. Twelve dollars for that T-shirt. And then let's see where you're going next. I can go to. Here. Well, I don't this know was what auction. That is. Okay, now we'll get into auction. <laughs> Misty sent us a thing. <laughs> she she found a clapper thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have one around here somewhere. Good but... thing we don't have it because there's a lot of five bucks in here now. But Nike boys have six hit it from fifty. Six fifty. I didn't hide it. I think the kids took it and did something with it. Vintage Pendleton scarf five bucks. These were actually 
relist that didn't sell from the week before. We just sent them out for four ninety nine. And I didn't stuff. send any auctions out this weekend. So next weekend, I don't even have relist ending. Yeah. So just keep in mind, all this stuff that you're going to see here, it's relist, relist. So it's like, maybe this time, maybe this time. So instead of just tossing it or redonating it or putting out at a garage sale, we tried again and again and again, and we finally sell it. What, you sell something? Or they just paid? Just paid. Three Lily Pulitzer, like Ford, breast cancer awareness, pink ribbon scarves, um, six fifty. Okay. Under Armour set. Um, it's like women's top with shorts or something. Yeah. Yeah. Shorts. Five bucks. Top, five bucks for the set. It's not ideal, right? And we can talk about that because I'm sure somebody will say something, but. Selling stuff for $5 is not ideal, but it's better than nothing, and it's already been listed, and blah, blah, blah. So might as well try to get some money. So, sometimes you just got to get rid of some stuff. You know what I mean? You just have to. Yeah. Or you're going to have it I mean, forever. We do. That's what we do. That's what we do. DK you don't have to do that, but no. that's what we do. And we have to sell stuff. I mean, this is our income, so... We have to sell stuff. Right. I mean, you got to do it five dollars at a time. Sometimes. Sometimes. You know. DK and what? D. It's not what I want to do. And why bra? Five bucks. But thankfully, we sold some stuff that wasn't five dollars too. So. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Two Nike uh, pants, five seventy four. Somebody got a pretty good deal on those, huh? Well, good. They'll be all set to go running. Yeah. I mean, that's always a way to look at it, too. It's like, hey, somebody got a good deal. I mean, and this is also plus shipping. So they have to pay $5 plus the shipping on top right. of it. So Livy Active, which I think is Lane Bryant, they have little, like, banded pants here, 5 bucks. Capris. Nike hat, 5 bucks. Skirt Sports. This used to be a really great brand for us. Really good. Um this actually has like the skirted leggings or pants and then a tank top i think five yeah. bucks for that set and the tank top five and bucks, i five. could have listed some of this stuff on buy it now and then got more but move it along but here's my be, one posh it'd still be sitting there right right here's my one posh mark new attack victoria's secret skirt little christmasy skirt 13 bucks 13 bucks and it's new attack. And you got a bunch of these. Right. You got a whole I got them for my uncle. Them. I actually put on Macari, I think like 40 of them. Yeah, you did. And yeah. then I was like whole listing lot of singly. 40 of them. I have them listed singly on Macari, eBay, and Poshmark. But you, you've you sold some <coughs> singly. Hard to sell 40 at one time, I guess. I guess so. Polo Ralph Lauren polo shirt, 18 bucks. Maybe it's more of a rugby shirt. I don't know. We've had that for a long time. Mm-hmm. We've had this forever. And I actually have another one. I got two of these. This is what's hard, too. You look up comps when you're there, and you're like, yeah, this looks worth getting. <coughs> it's, Excuse it's, me. It's I got so cute. Bins Long, as Ann would call it. Bins Long. It says, Grandma loves you. It's cute. It has some, like, pulling on this back. It's like a comforter thing. It right. is adorable. It's Joyce Miller, vintage 70s, 1250. Yeah. Somebody offered 1250. We've had it forever. We've had it for Goodbye. a long time. And I have another one. So I feel like we're just explaining ourselves, but we don't just have to. Just explaining we're ourselves. We're just telling you the story behind each item. <laughs> We've had this forever. Since last year it was listed. Columbia It's a Bala Clop Gate Gator. Lava, whatever it's called. It's the kind where your face sticks out. Yeah. Whatever it is. Five bucks. Um, boys, um, What's CF? I don't know what it is. Singlet, 16 Cliff. bucks. Right? No, it's not Cliff. Cliff Angle is the oh. one. This is just CF Athletic. I don't know. Singlet thing. 16 anyway, bucks. 16 bucks. Van, our friend Van in Chicago got this North Face uh, pullover. It's yeah, super it nice. It says Westport Homes but on the front. It's it's nice, you know what I mean? It's like it's gonna be a nice thing. Yeah. I'm sure being in Chicago, it's probably really gonna be cold there. Yeah. So to have that layered up. So Van, thank you so much. Twelve dollars on that. Thank you, Van. Thank you, thank you. Nike running shorts, five fifty. We usually do really well with those. Usually with the lots of them. 
This is a vintage Nike t-shirt. Um, has like a rubber logo on it. Five fifty. And again, this was all real stuff. We didn't send out any new auction stuff. So. Under Armour top, five bucks. Okay, this one, it hurts me. Because these are actually pretty good. These are new Atag Adidas. They're like golf shorts. Yeah. Um, and they looked pretty good. And it's I should have just put them on by it now, but I didn't. The Whatever. price is 70 bucks on them. Well, I sold them for five bucks. So five the bucks. person got a great deal. Perfect. They'll be happy. Hopefully, right? I, I have to just say something really quick. A lot of times, the cheaper you sell items, though, you do get more complaints compared to, um, <clears throat> not complaints, but people are a little more picky, I guess you would say, yeah, the cheaper sometimes. the item, or they ask a lot more questions or stuff like that, as opposed to usually with higher dollar items, we don't get a lot of questions. Does that make sense? Right. Nike, just do it, t-shirt, five bucks. Or it'd be like, when are you shipping my item? You know, it's like they get it and it's like Friday night. When are you shipping my item? That kind of thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nike jacket, five bucks. You should have kept that purple jacket. Not not my style. Nike Pro baseball slider shorts, five bucks. Adidas tech fit um, thing. Five bucks. It's like, so do you get this again? Like, we've sold them well before, like 20, 25 bucks. And then, like, real recently out to auction. And then, I like, so I just, it's hard. Like, do you get it again? Probably. We'll get it again. Of course we will. We probably will. <laughs> Rebel Mines pants. We've mm -hmm. had these for like ever. And he has more to well, list. I got another pair of them. 555. Now I got to figure out where you're at. Every time now. you get more than one thing, it seems really hard. I mean, you get a multiples of something. Yeah. It seems really hard to sell it. I'm lost now. Now, if you see something, there's a whole bunch of it, and you want to get one, it'll sell really good. That right? just seems to be the way it, right? the way it works. Always. That always happens. North Face vest. This is a vintage women's made in the USA. I just picked this up, I think. Um, Denali vest. Uh, 29 bucks. 29 bucks. Tom's boots. 24 bucks. They're like wedge booties. Sorry, booties. Booties. Columbia boots. Yeah, our boots are like went way down because we I sold know. quite a few boots. 30 bucks. Once it started Columbia. snowing in places, <laughs> it seemed there goes like, our boots. I know. It was awesome. Good thing we had those on, right? I know. I mean, that's too why we do save them up because it's more time. I mean, at least for us, it works out. But it was so weird because not selling many boots, not selling many boots. As soon as it snows. People... Well, we've sold them like consistently since we put them on like yeah. two months ago, a month and a half ago. Ugg tall boots, twenty three nineteen. But this last week, we've sold more than we have any other time. It's true. Girls Ugg boots, 20 bucks. Jennifer got these two things. She got a Lululemon. Um, you just got this too. It's just yeah. a whole video. Um, and now I can't remember what it's called, but it's a sweatshirty thing. $30 on that. It's called a sweatshirty thing. I can't remember what it exactly was called. You know, I spent probably 15 minutes trying to look up what that was called. And then mm -hmm. Jennifer also got this North Face, the super silky. This is really soft. soft. I mean, I this know. is like the softest and North Face. And it has little things so she can keep her hands warm. That's what I love. Yeah. So, Jennifer, thank you so much. And the 24 on that one. So, Jennifer, we appreciate it. Thank you. She got both those things? She got both those okay. things. Thank you. Um, I know she made offers and I was out. And I'm like, I didn't want to accept her offers right away because I want to send her an invoice. You know, so then I felt bad. I'm like, oh, I felt bad she had to wait for me to accept them. But. It all worked out, so she got those. So thank you again. This is a Billa or B Bila, B-I-L-A. It's like a cover-up dress kind of thing. Wait, it's for swimming? So you can use it as a swim cover-up. It's super cute. Or a dress. But it's kind of like a summery dress, I would think. Well, we sold it for $10. Maybe they live in Florida. Someplace where it's warm. Mm -hmm. Speedo swimsuit, $9.19. So this actually what triggered in your mind to do swimsuits because we sold this it is. remember and i'm like oh we sold a swimsuit remember and then you're like how do you oh. know what triggers in my mind because <laughs> i do you know your husband i bet you i'd get every single one right if it said do you no know your way husband? yes i would i can't wait for you to do all these to see oh, if you I, really know, I know me. you 
I know. Yeah. Sure. Wilson's Angora hat, 15 bucks. We all know you. You think about just a couple things, and one of them's the bin. <laughs> okay. Hey, I want to know what the other couple things are. Um. Anyway. Exactly. Free people top. Well, you're a guy, so... No, I'm just kidding. Well, thank you. Uh, free people, $17. This is a cute little tunic shirt mini dress. I'm not sure what it was. Okay. And then we get down to here. We just got this, too. Mary Lake Thompson apron, $10. It's kind of it's kind of Eastery because it has a bunny on it. But... Eastery? Well, it's springy. It has, like, sure. a bunny in the garden. You just got this, too. Yeah. Our safety this is kind of heavy. Because it has all these. You, you I put sort of it on. You like hook it on so you don't fall out of your tree stand. Right. Like you're really going to fall out of your tree stand? Well, people fall out of their tree stands all the time. You fall out with this and you have it hooked up right. You'll just hang there until someone comes around and <laughs> gets you down. hideous. <laughs> but it's better than falling to your death, right? Well, I guess. I don't know. Would you rather fall out of a tree and die or fall out of a tree and hang there for I always said, like, The Walking Dead. Remember, they had some hunter guy that... He must have had something like this on because he was, like, dangling yeah. on his tree stand and he was dead, remember? He was a zombie. Hmm. Anyway, off track, $50 for that hunter safety vest. Hunter safety harness. I'm exactly. Sorry. A browning shooting shirt. It's hunting season, can you tell? Yes. Fourteen twenty. We don't have much stuff. I got, like, one more jacket. It's about the only hunting thing left we have. That's good. Uh, Sorrel, Sorrel boots. boots. These had a little chewed up strap right here. So you yeah. can either cut it all off. You'd never know. They're super cute. They're yeah. plaid. Uh, $25 on those boots. Yeah, you could cut it off on both sides. And I then didn't. you'd never I know. I just took a picture like that. I mean, it just, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, you're going to wear them out in the rain anyway. They're super cute boots. Yeah. Wait, so did I much? say $25? $25. And then we have Ugg boots. It's the last. Good the last old Ugg boots. Think. 35 bucks. The boots just keep on giving. I love that. So we spent we spent a total of 6161 on that stuff. 61 61 on the weight of the stuff and then also we had the Tory Burch shoes. There was some heavy stuff in there, I guess. Huh? There was. Um and we sold everything for 90396. 90396. So $9 plus shipping. $903.96 plus shipping. Okay. Our gross return on investment was 1367%. Our net return on investment was 1,176%, and our net profit was $786.44. That's minus fees. Oh no, I didn't, I forgot to minus what I paid for the stuff. So what's that? 786 minus 61, 61. So 60. 720 bucks was our net profit. 720 bucks. So actually, my return on investment net is gonna be a little bit off, but 11 times our money, basically, what it comes down to. Okay. And then we got to take home 720 bucks. Does that make sense? For the weekend. After fees and cost of goods. Right. So that's not bad for the weekend. It's not Sounds bad. pretty good to me. Yeah. And lots of five dollar items. And, and we got rid of, of rid of a lot of big heavy things. Cause that's actually usually our return on investments higher. Right. But there was a lot of big heavy things, so so that was our weekend. Hope you guys had a great weekend making good sales. Hope eBay's up and running for you. It still could be up a little more running for us. Yeah. I still haven't fixed anything though. So maybe if I did that. Sometimes it's like, oh yeah, eBay's working fine. And then other times it's like, you just get this. I do. I know. I got that this morning when I listed something. Dang, it's like. But seriously, the one thing that's been saving me is offer to watchers every morning when I get up and then throughout the day, if people like stuff, I just keep sending them. Yeah. Um, that's really what's kind of saved me like every day. Save me. That sounds silly, but you know what I mean? The, the bad it's thing. It's given us sales. The bad thing about eBay is once they actually get their glitches fixed, then they'll go in and change something else and there'll be a whole new set of problems. I mean, well, it on the really, desktop, they updated really, also the page. So it's a whole different look on the page. Um, so I know they were doing that, too. Yeah. So that's probably messing some stuff up, too. But anyway, we won't be so chatty. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, who knows? It's just a never-ending roller coaster. Yeah. Okay. All right. Pick outside the box. Thanks for watching. Thanks, We'll see guys. you with a haul this, this week. This week sometime. God bless you. Have a great one. Bye. Thank you so much.